Well, there are many ways to recover our device. Because when we format it, what remains is a screen lock still. The lock and now it asks us for the Google account. When we do that we forget uh, the pattern or the password A. We always recommend A when creating A. Google Gmail account it is advisable to write it down because this always usually happens that sometimes at some point we forget that pattern or that password after we format it it would be blocked. But here we would have the alternative of recovering our device through the Google account. But if we do not write down either of the two options, then what we have to do is recover our phone. For that we are going to explain how you will be able to recover your device without using a PC. We are not going to use a PC in this video tutorial, but we do have a method for a PC. We have left new updated methods as well, a different from this one both in the description of the video and in the first fixed comment. We have left those methods for those people who do not work. Do not have or do not have or do not like these methods, they can access that. Other methods A first of all before starting the process we are going to show you and we are going to give you what the tour of our device is since. So that you can see that it has a screen lock it also has. The forgotten Gmail Google account we are going to connect to a Wi-Fi network. We connect, ready now we are going to wait for our phone to take us to. Where? The screen lock appears, A. Having said that we also want to tell you that we have a community session. Of YouTube members that has already been enabled for us and we want to inform you that. Those people who always like our video tutorials and are always active, we recommend them and that they support us by subscribing to that community. A we will be publishing. We have been informed in advance by the community of members. For those people who are always supporting us, so they can see our video in advance. They will see the videos in advance. We will also try to uh, respond to the comments as soon as possible. We will be attentive where you will be able to a uh, comment on any concern and we will always be available to respond to you uh. as we had also told you uh, that we had other methods different methods that we have already left in the description and in the first comment fixed for those people who always advance our video tutorials in this process it is always better not to advance the video so that you cannot miss any details because there are always people who always write to us that this method did not work I didn't get this, this that I don't get. If you don't listen to everything step by step what we're going to say, well this always happens. We're going to click here where it says do not copy, we click where it says do not copy. Now it would take us where that screen lock appears. Then we click here where it says use Google account. We click where it says use Google account. How are we going to be able to recover our device, where does it go? We're going to enter, I'm going to explain the step to you. Like we always previously entered through. Policy and privacy and from there we could share the application. We could share and we could enter another device. But these functions are no longer working. Where we share a those those options no longer appear. It is not working either where it is where we entered with a SIN car locked with a code. PIN and we called 911 and it loaded what was Google Map and we could. We could enter by touching Google Map. That option that we touched is no longer working. But I am going to explain a method where you will be able to enter. With that same option but without having to touch the screen. I will explain what we are going to use, we are going to use a keyboard. 
keyboard and we are going to use an OTG. We are going to use a keyboard, an OTG, we are going to introduce it and it will look like this. A port where the cable will be able to enter through. The phone, we are going to use a SIM card blocked with a PIN code. But you will see where we are going where we are going to enter for those people. Who suddenly can enter by touching the screen, those. People who can enter by touching the screen to Google Maps, well that would be. A good process, they can do it and they can follow the following. Produce the cable, USB cable. An OTG, what we are going to do is go to emergency call when. We and they are going to write according to their country the number of the emergency number. They are going to press call, they go go down here the first line, it will mark here. After it marks you hit enter, and see, yes it selects, yes. It is selecting, then we mark our emergency number. One line and hit enter. We try again, we skip the emergency number. Go down one line and now hit enter. Up to there it gave us access, this is easy, this is fast, it. No longer gave us access, what we are going to do is remove the SIN car. We are going to remove that SIN car, we are not going to need it anymore. Throw away the zinc, now what we are going to do is the following. We are going to touch the screen holding this here. It is going to beep, you are going to click back and. Now what we are going to do is click here where it says skip. We click on skip and it will take us to this section. Well, what we are going to do now being here in this section we are going to click on this little ball that appears here. We are going to click on it here where it says adjustment or configuration. We're going to go down here and we're going to select notifications. We're going to click on those notifications, we click on them, we click on them, we enter again. They are already enabled, now we click here where it says location. We click OK, we click on it, now we're going to click here where it says accessibility. We're going to enable this accessibility is already enabled. We go back, now we're going to click here where it says log this configuration. Google location setting, we're going to click on it. We're going to click here here where it says all, we're going to click on the three dots. We're going to click on what says show system here we see the Google Play services. But as we can see it lets us do nothing, at that moment it lets us do nothing. But if you see this magnifying glass that appears here. As you can see that magnifying glass that appears there, we're going to write the following here. We're going to write accessibility, accessibility, you're going to write here. You're going to click on it and you're going to enable the accessibility menu. Enable that accessibility menu. Ready, it's already enabled, we've already enabled this menu. Now what we're going to do is write back. Here where we have written accessibility, let's write battery. Battery, let's write battery and we're going to select this option. That appears here that says battery usage of applications. Then you are going to select the same option that automatically points to phone. You are going to click here, you are going to go down and you are going to look for the Google Play services. You are going to click here on disable, you disable these Google Play services. But you have to have accessibility enabled. The accessibility menu, then you are going to click on restart. Now what we are going to do is wait for our phone to completely restart. When our phone completely restarts. We are going to complete what is the recovery process of the account termination of these devices in order to finalize it. We are going to wait, we are going to wait a few seconds. As we had said from the beginning of the video we have. 
another method in the description of the video and in the first. Pinned comment so that you can solve what this recovery is. In some cases these methods usually do not work for them, we have others. Additional methods for you to continue, continue with the process. Since we also have a method by PC and other methods without PC. We will give it here it says accept and continue, we click here. After we click here, accept and continue. Now it would take us to this section. We will wait here, we will wait here. We will wait for it to load. We will wait until it takes us to the following configurations. Here we have to flash the screen to be able to do the following. We will wait, as we had told you. We also have the member community session for those people who always watch our video tutorials and always want to support us with this subscription they can support us so that we are always bringing new updates. The benefit would be that we will be public video in advance in that community and responding to messages quickly. Here now that we have arrived here we are going to click where it says do not copy. We click here where it says do not copy, now it would stay like this. Looking for updates now up to here we want to get here. I also want to tell you that when we completely recover our phone we would still have some errors. These errors will be able to a they will be able to a recover. Phone A at the end of the video I will explain that when we recover our phone the screen will stop working when it is locked if it is not locked. It stops working but at the end of the video I will explain how to correct it now. If we go back we go back here we want it here. We are going to give it these three dots. We go those three dots, we are going to give it here where it says accessibility. We give this magnifying glass. Here we are going to write this battery battery we write. Now we are going to select the same option that says battery usage of the applications. We select the same one that is selected for us here. Automatically and now we are going to go down and we are going to find the Google Play services here we are going to disable that application from the Google Play services. We disabled it, we go back gently. Gently back, gently back. Now we are going to give it here it says configure offline. We give it accept, we wait, we give it more. Accept now, we give it here in skip, skip, we give it in we say no. Not now, not now, not now, not now. We click on next here we click on finish. As you can see this is the error that I want to tell you about. These are the errors that we have left that our phone gets stuck. We click on it, we click on it and it doesn't work, how can we enter? We enter here, from here we are going to go to the last options. What appears here, we are going to go here in system. We click here in system, system here we click on reset. Here we are going to reset all this, we are going to click on reset our phone. When our phone is completely reset we would have an error free phone. When it restarts what we are going to do is configure it normally and we can now use our device. 